Hello, friends, and welcome. This is In the Studio, episode 92. Today, um, I will be talking a little bit about symbols and crashes. More specifically, I want to show you how to create a, a big, epic, uh, swirling style crash symbol um, that can really um, work for an important part in your track and also to help smooth out some transitions or just some you know creative atmospheric kind of swirling effect. So I have this project here that I've been working on recently and um, I have kind of mocked out um, a little idea for how I might want to transition into the breakdown and I have a crash symbol right here um, as a breakdown starting um, but we're going to make that much more interesting with this technique I'm talking about um, but first I'm going to give you a little preview here so here we go Okay, so that's the that's the track doing its thing. That's the crash. Let's make that crash just way more interesting here. So it's in the mixer here. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. I'm gonna exaggerate it a little bit. It's sent over to this long reverb uh, send. With there's nothing on it at the moment just some reverb on the actual uh, crash itself. So I'm going to take that off. Actually, I'm just going to move it over to this track here. So first thing I'm going to do actually is just clean up this track. I'm going to move, remove the lower frequencies if there are any. I'm going to take away some of the top frequencies as well. And then we're going to follow that actually with a stereo widening tool. Um, you could use uh, you know, stereo spreader. There's a nifty little tool within FL Studio that I like to use for things like this on occasion, which is the stereo enhancer. And what I'm going to do is just push the phase offset over a little bit to widen this crash out. And then, then we're going to run it through the reverb. And on the reverb, I'm going to keep it on the default concert hall setting, but I'm going to push up the decay pretty high, around 12 seconds. And I'm going to turn the pre-delay down for this. Um, and then I'm going to just give it a little bit of a low cut. Now I'm going to run it through some delay. So I'm just going to use the pre-delay too. I'll keep it nice and simple. It doesn't need to be complicated here. I'm going to turn this down to, I'll keep it on the, an eighth dotted actually. And I'm going to push up the feedback. I'm going to roll off some of the very top frequencies of the feedback signal. And I'm going to pan this on ping pong. So have the feedback on ping pong. I'll kick that over a little bit. I might push the offset over to the right. And that'll help widen things out a little bit. And then what we're going to do now is I'm going to compress this a little bit with the LA-2A. So let's have a quick listen here. Just to kind of bring up the level a little bit, make the reverb and that delay signal a little bit more dense. And then what I'm going to do is actually give that a little bit of a slow pan. So um, there's a an auto panner in FL Studio. It's called Panomatic, but I'm going to use um, a nice little free plugin. It used to be free from the Cable Guys fellas, which is called the uh, Pancake, if I could find it, there it is. And what I'm going to do is turn this to four bars, and I'm going to 
cool the mix down a little bit, maybe around 30% or so. Let's hear that. Nice. Now the crash is, is too loud, but I think you get the the point there. It's just a, it's a nice kind of swirling atmospheric, um, you know, vibe happening there that can really, you know, make moments like these in your track, you know, more interesting. So I'm going to turn this down at a, to a more reasonable level and let's listen to it again. There you go. And then, you know, depending on how many elements you have happening, you could, you know, kick up that reverb time a little bit if you want the, the, that to continue on further. I might even add a little bit of a side chain to this as well, depending on where I'm using it in the track. Um, so we can hear it with a little bit of side chain. I might not go crazy with this. It, it, you could obviously do it to taste, but I might just mix in a little bit. Yeah, I think that I think that would work. And you know, just uh, another little little tip for you. So hopefully you found that useful. Please leave me a comment or question. I do love to hear from all of you. So yeah, take care. We'll see you soon. We'll catch you later.